Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We've done similar equations before, but I think this one is also interesting. Anyways, let's solve it. We have x to the power x equals 4 to the power x plus 4. We're going to be looking for x values. So here's one thing I can do. I can do a couple different things, but I just want to show you, I think, I believe the Kukis approach maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and break down what's on the right hand side into 4 to the x times 4 to the 4. And then I'm going to put together uh, the terms that have x in them. So kind of write it like x to the x divided by 4 to the x equals 4 to the power 4. So and then the left hand side, since they have the same exponent, not the same base, but the same exponent, we can kind of combine them, write this as a quotient to the power, same power x and equals 4 to the power 4. Now look at the base and the exponent. Wouldn't that be nice if they were the same? So we have something like a to the power a, but we have uh, that on the right hand side. So what is going on here? Something weird is going on, but we'll fix it. So if we had a to the a equals 4 to the 4, then you could easily say, hey, a equals 4 is definitely a solution. And that seems to be the only solution in the real world, right? But unfortunately, we don't have that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to raise both sides to the power 1 fourth. Why? Because I want to make this, I want to turn the exponent into x over 4. And I can do that by multiplying it by 1 fourth. But what does multiplying the exponent by 1 fourth mean? So here's what it means. So if you have x over 4 to the power x times 1 fourth, this is actually equivalent to x over 4 to the power x to the power 1 fourth. Make sense? You take this and raise it to the power 1 fourth. So that's what we have to do on both sides. And let's do it. So x over 4 to the power x to the power 1 fourth equals 4 to the power 4 to the power 1 fourth. And it's okay to do, right? As long as the quantities are positive. If I have a negative quantity, which I don't, then I'll have a problem with the fourth root, but uh, x must be positive, right? Okay. Then we get the following, x over 4 to the power x times 1 fourth, which is x over 4. By the way, to get this idea, I just work backwards. So what do I need to make it x over 4? Make sense? And this equals, okay, we're going to multiply 4 and 1 fourth, and that's going to give us 1, so I get 4 to the power 1. Okay, great. Now, the base and the exponent are the same on the left-hand side, but they're not the same on the right-hand side. Oh, man. This is not good. But don't worry. We can fix it. It's a very easy fix because instead of the 4, you can just write 2 squared. Such a easy way to do it, right? Yes. It, well, it works. So now we have the 1 to 1 correspondence, meaning that I have something like a to the power a equals b to the power b. So I can safely say that a equals b. I mean, this is not the only solution all the time. If your number is a small number, you know, just check out the graph of y equals x to the x and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's something that looks like this. OK, it's going to decrease and then have a minimum and then it's going to start increasing. Make sense? So in this region, we have some interesting stuff. Anyways, that was just a rough graph. So now this means x over 4 equals 2. Or x over 4 equals 2 works. And that means x equals 8 is a solution. And guess what? There are no other solutions because 2 is a large number. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Is that tomorrow? Yes, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.